It's an event that brings the Oneida Nation together. The residents will soon be hand harvesting their heirloom white corn. And Ted Skenador joins us live to tell us more about it. Good morning, Ted. Good morning. First of all, can you tell us, uh, tell everyone where you're joining us from this morning? Okay, we're at Junhaqua at 139 Riverdale out here in Oneida. We're an organic farm. Okay. About 82 acres. And tell us what this, um, this annual harvesting of the heirloom white corn is all about. Okay, this is when we come together. We invite the whole community out to come out and help us harvest our corn. And this is a food product. It's not for animals. And uh, we make several different products out of it. This is what the corn looks like here. And this is an heirloom. We do our own seed saving. And we're looking for about eight rows around it. And no dent, no discoloration. And we're looking at the cob to make sure that's also no discoloration as well. But it's a, it's a big event where we try to get all our uh, corn hand harvested. And then as you can look up in the air here a little bit, you can see some of these tins that are on top. We hang them from all these hooks, and there's a little over 200 hooks here. We try to get all those braided within the first couple days. And tell us why this heirloom white corn is so important to the culture. Well, it's been one of our three sustainers. We call them the three sisters. That's the corn, beans, and the squash. And they kept us alive for many years, and this corn actually dates back to our creation story. And there's uh, many stories about, like when George Washington and his army were at Valley Forge, they ran into trouble, you know, feeding themselves and clothing themselves, and they contacted the Oneida people, who were originally from New York. And we actually uh, brought uh, bags of corn to their people and, and were able to feed them, and they were, able to, they were able to make it through the winter that way. So there is a way that the community can come together there at Junhankwa to uh, help harvest. Tell us about the husking bee that will be taking place this week. Okay, this week it starts on Saturday, and every day it's going to be 9 to 5, and it runs for about a week. It's going to be the 8th through the 14th. And what we're going to do is we're going to come out, we're going to have a big tent under here, and we're going to go out to the field, we're going to start picking corn and bringing it back, and we're going to be taking the leaves off it. As you can see, this one has no leaves on it. And what we're going to do is taking all the leaves off of it, and you can look over here a little bit. We're doing some braiding, and what they do is they braid this corn, and they hang these from these hooks that are in the ceiling. So these are about 60... 60 to 65 cobs on each one of these braids. Yeah, maybe and we can, I'm really looking forward to uh, learning a little bit more about that later this morning, Ted. Maybe um, for our next segment or a little bit later, you can show us how you braid those, those white corn ears. Yeah, we can probably do that. I have another guy coming in and he's really good at doing that. His name is Don and we'll be setting him up with some uh, braiding and we can show you how that goes. We're looking forward to it. Thanks so much, Ted.